Hey guys, what's up? What's good? Yes, it's your boy Daki. I'm straight up to the conversation, but yeah, before then, um, I I would make Paul way. Paul way was good. I'm awesome, man. I'm good. No, I was trying to do like a change of the intro before. I just do, hey guys, I'm <laughs> start. let's just do something different. But yeah, Paul way, I'm an amazing person. I I I I must say this like publicly. Yeah, I love the fact that yeah, you you have, you, you are very articulated. Yeah, you get some kind of type of one push you for fun. I get you because just you more, you more, you more, you more. Come outside. Well, yeah, if not me, I for don't enter a chat for me. Amazing one, amazing one. But yeah, I'm moving on straight up today. I'm uh, talking about Afrobeat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's talk about Afrobeat and its influence. Yeah, mm. but then Afrobeat generally, uh, over the weekend we saw um um it's probably it's more like every week. Yeah? Mm. Last two weeks ago we saw Fuse at the Brooklyn Nets game mm. at, the, at the NBA. Last week it was um Bonner Boy Rema and. Um, Thames, yeah, at, at, at the NBA after performance and amazing mm. one, amazing mm. beautiful. So that took over. That took over the whole week. Beautiful. Yeah. And then this week, I was saw um Olam Dennis boys talking about uh, Fireboy and Ashake mm. at the Golden State Warriors game and everything. Now, NBA is, is looking like they are going to be having these guys every week and everything. Mm. How would you say uh, the way with the rate at which Afrobeat is going? To what limits do you, are you saying it? To? Limitless. I limitless. Limitless. I mean, it's. The, the opportunities around Afrobeat right now is just crazy, crazy, crazy amazing because trust me, we have been able to really export Afrobeat yeah. and then the evo- the evolution of Afrobeat is, is something that has to be studied. Um, <laughs> true, I mean, because you can't, you can't expect to just have this kind of um, rave and sensation and say, oh, you just think it's just by luck. No, it's not by luck. Of course, shout out to all the founding fathers. And of course, I, and in this conversation, I always like to make a case for women. Sometimes... It is almost, yeah, um, it's almost, um, 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 I don't want to use ignominable, but I, I, it's almost very, very sad that women are almost very excluded from the conversation in, you know, the development and growth of Afrobeat. Um, but I want to really say shout out to all the women because of, trust me, we have, we have um, Yemi Ali, for example, who brings the, the Mama Africa vibe. You know, we have um, see, Niniola. Yeah. Who who started the wave of the Amapiano type vibe and brought it, you know, to Nigeria, expanded it, and literally everybody started to do the whole Amapiano thing. And then we also have amazing. We have Mama Jam Jam, who you know, her water and um, yeah, Gary EP was really like very sensational. Like, and she has also been like very 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 vocal person in terms of. Um, getting Afrobeat to where it is. Yes, we might want to judge them for certain parameters, but trust me, they've done well. So shout out to everybody who hold the pioneers of you know Afrobeat. Um, um, so I think that right now we are, you know, like I always say to you, Daki, uh, we are the center. Um, we are the center of literally everything that is music sure, right sure, now in the sure. world. Uh, we can beat our, our chest wherever sure. we are and say that for a fact. And the most interesting thing is, you know, all these affiliations right now, NBA wants to see some of the Afrobeat guys at the games yeah. because they know, say, bro, it's marketing. Okay, so who would you say are the front of Afrobeat at the moment? Uh, there are a lot of names, actually. There are a lot of people. So it's almost as if you are, if you are calling a certain name or certain people and then you leave out the certain people. True. It's almost like that's a clip by us. So shout out to, I mean, everybody who's been doing so much for the culture. I mean, that is such an incredible, incredible feeling. Because um, if you know what you do, you suppose congratulate yourself. True. So I don't want to really mention them, so I leave out the others. But there are so much of them, from the OGs to the new school to the preschool and the, the kindergarten. The you know, <laughs> you know. So um, so I mean, shout out to everyone who's been a, a part of this, the culture. Yeah, shout out to everyone who's been a part of um this amazing culture. I, I, let's call it movement. Shout out to everybody who's been on that team. Yeah. Um. So I said we're going to we're going to be having talking about Afrobeat with something else talking about Nigerian politics. Um, how would you say Afrobeat have influenced um, Nigerian politics as it were? Um, I I think it's a very interesting topic, Ducky, because um, it's almost as if if you belong to a certain um community and yeah. of course a country in a larger context, and then you are not um supporting or you know speaking about different things or different subjects that you know surround that particular community now in a larger context, a country um you're almost not really doing anything if i have to say that you know so um there is almost like a a swell of events and it's almost like interwoven there is no way you're able to separate yourself there's almost no way you're able to separate yourself from the politics of the the country that you are i mean like that you are really present in at that particular time 
So um, we're first Nigerians, and yeah. of course, um, the pioneers of Afrobeats, Nigerians, shout out. Um, um, the politics in terms of weaving it together with Afrobeats is actually a very dicey but interesting topic. So, um, I mean, like, you have a lot of artists who have been able to speak to the ills of society through their music, and of course, um, it's almost like interwoven, just to answer your question. So it's like, you cannot separate both this one from the other, so it's like interwoven. But a lot of people will definitely not choose to talk about the subject, does not True. mean that they don't care. Yes, if you don't talk about it, it also doesn't mean like you don't care. Moving on, we've seen um, um, some, some I, like like uh, Paul we said, you can't mention of them, but they've seen some persons who have actually showed much interest um, in the German politics, mm -hmm. starting with two phase, and then the grandfather of all of them talking about Fela and Kuti. Fela songs are, are songs that you can actually sing and it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, now listen to yeah, it's a prophet. Yeah, yeah, it's some calling the prophet. I have seen Fowls um the new age guy who is doing everything. I think as yesterday we saw where a uh, report came where it was, I think his phone was missing. Yes. So, yes. But he came and said he found the phone and everything. Yeah, so yeah. first as that person was doing his own beat to make sure um everything is going all right. Now moving on to the alphabet um, guy who's seen a lot of them doing good for themselves and trying to make it, their voice heard talking about Nigerian growth and politics. David Doe is one of those persons. Mm -hmm. And now for David Doe, yeah, from the Oshustis election, we've seen where well, we have made his voice heard well, well, call, like, well, they called out INEC, called out Governor Etola, called out everybody to be called out mm. just so the writing um, can be done and mm. in all of that. Now, if we if we need to pause here a bit, yeah, now these are um, not to take off, not take off credit from also actors. We've seen actors, kids makers, talking mm. about macaroni. Yeah, that's the entertainment industry. Yeah, generally, yeah. Who have also um, left their own beat to make sure all of these are going to find everything. Mm -hmm. Now, in a space where a, part a particular sector of the government, um, entertainment or as it were, uh, making their voice heard on their, um, maybe their displeasure about something. Mm -hmm. Do you think it matters a lot? Like, this politics, this is not movie, this is not music. But then, this is music and movie trying to make a voice heard, trying to make a voice heard in politics. Do you think it means a lot? Like, is there a big gap you can do on like the politicians making the point. So when you see the likes of the video, um, two face comments, you know, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want. Is it making much of a difference in the political structure? Very well, of course, because I mean, this, it, there's a stanship culture in Nigeria in terms of entertainment, of course, and um, for them to come up to say, you know, okay, we believe that this is supposed to be this, it makes their fans also like be very warm towards them to say, oh yeah, we know that we revere you, we adore you guys, we look up to you guys, we are your fans. True. But it's also very warm to see that you're also aligned with our struggles, you're aligned with our pain, you're aligned with our successes. So it's like you're almost like part of us. The only distinction is that there is maybe like a, a, a gap between, oh, okay, um, you are a celebrity, so to speak. Yeah. Um, but we are also the ones who also make you that, yeah. or who have made you that. So you also have to like be a part of us. So yes, it's very interesting because um, you you also have to identify with the people. Now then go stream your, mu your music, now then go watch your film, now then go come your concert. These are the people that are the, is, is obvious, obviously like they're the foundation of literally everything that is you. Because if they don't come to your concert, they don't stream your music, there's nothing really you can do. If they don't support you the way that you should be supported, then, then it amounts to nothing. So I think that it is important. Yeah, I think that it's important. Yeah. Um, um, Mumna will send Simi, Simi came out to say, how can you support anything that is this blatant and corrupt? This did you see the chaos yesterday? He talks the disenfranchisement, regardless of who you support. Shouldn't all of us be fighting for just and a fair election? What is your priority? Can you can't you read the room? Can't you read the room? Mm. Now, these are a lot of couple of strong um, words. Strong, uh, yeah, from um, from people you cannot ignore as it were because they are, they are, their voices. A lot of persons have two, two million followers, mm -hmm. three million followers, mm -hmm. ten million followers. Mm -hmm. Now, all of these voices put together. This see me. I uh, saw Ajay Boss last comment. The INEC is our biggest problem. Mm. The recording of INEC, we saw um, um, Arison come and say, you know what? He actually mentioned the name. He said, for that name, you can't be my president. It was, mm -hmm. it was so clear on that one. He said, you particularly, you can't be um, my president. So the colleague come and say, nah, INEC is the most irresponsible um, organization. So Ashali JNG came out to say, I, I arrived at my, police, at my police station at 6.30 yesterday, voted at 1.45 peacefully, saddened that people were attacked around Lagos, tribalism is... I'm disgusting. So far, the bad guy is saying, if I can announce any results, we're not much. We go calculate all by ourselves. Let's just start consolidating final result. My polling unit. We saw him again saying, "This P really breaks my heart, honestly, because I know this isn't meant to be like this. This country is so blessed, but we are just so scattered with everything. Why can't we just get our 
S word together, then said the word is watching, it's a little um, embarrassing. And all of that, these are people, like I said, cumulatively, they, they, they have, they've been to every part of the world. So uh, making this statement is more like saying the whole world is to them and everything. Moving on, do you think um, Afrobeats, the culture, the people in Afrobeats, do you think they can make a statement to make sure that the electoral process in Nigeria is, is, is something that you can you can say is working? Just to back up to that, Daki, I mean, it's simple to answer your question. They can actually affect the change. They can actually make the system work because their voices, like you also have agreed on, on this, you know, in this conversation, rather. Um, it, they have a powerful voice. They have well over like 2 million followers, 3 million followers, more than 10 million followers. They are a voice, they are a force. That's why we are also like trying to encourage people who have the capacity to be able to influence people to say, listen, do the right thing. Just be a model. Just speak to the needs of the people because they want to also be very sure that you identify with their pain. Imagine that we have a larger number of people like this coming out, the Simis, the Fauzes, you know, the, um, 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 Ajabor, all of them, you know, coming to obviously state their displeasure. I mean, at something that we can all glaringly like see, see yeah. that it, there's a problem, there's something that needs to be fixed. So it makes the fans even want to warm towards them the more because they know that, oh, uh, when it's up, these people say, come out, come talk, they can't stand for us. And then, I, I mean, that person will do normal, you go buy cloth from, you get. Mm. So, I mean, mm. it's just it's just, it's just just how it is. So I feel like the Afrobeat culture is, is so enormous, it's so big that there's a spotlight on us already. So people need to understand that their platforms can be used to effect a change. A lot of people who are, are listeners all over the world, who, I mean, like some, some artists, some celebrities have um, a fan base in, in some countries that you'll be so amazed that they have a fan base in that, in that place. They really don't know anything, I mean, that's happening in Nigeria, apart from the fact that they watch or see the news. But there's a spotlight on Afrobeat which automatically ger generates the fact that there's a spotlight on Africa, on Nigeria. So our celebrities are amplifying our voices or amplifying the voices of the minority, so to speak. And then the world is watching, like Fal said, the world is watching. So it's almost like a win-win for us because right now we're doing well in Afrobeat. It's the biggest spot. We need to be able to understand that this is bigger than just even Afrobeat. Afrobeat is one thing that is already big already. And okay. then we need a place that is safe for us to be able to, you know, further export our, our, our talent, which is Afrobeat and more that we have already um, to the rest of the world. Yeah, um, yeah, before Libya, um, this almost like before the end of, the, of, of this part of the show and everything. Now, um, we may mention about the entertainment sector, yeah, yeah. which is about music is one strong part of it. Also, have people in the skits business, have people in the entertainment sector and mm -hmm. everything. But it's as though um, music is taking the front line of, of all now. Mm -hmm. Do you think it should be a collaborative effort of everybody? Or you think Afrobeat alone can push this push this change? Oh, well, Afrobeat alone can push it, but then um, the more the merrier. They say bring your own cup of rice, bring your own cup of rice. Now they make mm, pot the food. Yeah, Do you understand? So the more the merrier. The more our voices come together. I mean, the more profound the message is. Because at the end of the day, if we have all these mergers, we have all these people coming together to speak to the ills of the society, trust me, it's going to be a bigger message and then it's going to be very positive at the end of the day. It's going to be a bigger message. Yes, this is where you guys join the conversation. And then for you guys, a different question. What has your faith done in all of this? Your faith in the Afrobeats, what do you think mm -hmm. they've done? Let me see your thoughts on that one. If you support this person, you like this person, comment and let me see what you think. Because it's more like saying, um, it's, it's more like saying, I support this person, and this person has done. So defend your faith on this comment. So uh, what have they done in the electoral processes? How, how they make it peaceful? Uh, let me give voice. Let me see the comment section. For me, for those of you who start with files, I think it's easier for files files to say yes, you have done so. Mm -hmm. But if you don't start with files, let me see what your uh, your favor has done. And yes, we'll be there looking at them. If not all, oh, guys, we'll catch you in the very next one. Like I'll tell you guys, stay safe and always remember. Okay. <laughs>